it. There's no more. Again, I've run out of music to sight read. The issue with sight reading is that we always run out of music because once you sight read a piece, that's it. If you sight read it again, then it's technically no longer sight reading. So does this mean there's nothing more to gain from the piece we just sight read? Does this mean we can only ever use a piece of music once? Like a disposal camera? Hi guys, well welcome back to my channel. I'm Manu from Piano Sight Reading, where I give sight reading tips to pianists. And in this video, I'm going to give you a few ways to still benefit from the music that you, you've sat read before. For example, you could try again at a different speed. So either you took it too fast and you didn't sight read very well, in which case you could try again slower and you'll have more time to process everything on the page. Or if you were a bit cautious and you sight read it quite slowly, you could try again but at a faster speed. That way you're forced to process information faster. You could also try again but by playing the music as musically as possible. Often when we're sight reading we're so focused on the notes and the rhythm that we actually forget to make it sound musical. So try again and see if you can observe the dynamics, the articulation, you know, any tempo markings, etc. And if you can, see if you can listen to what sounds you're making and see if you can enjoy it. Because isn't that the goal of sight reading? You could also try to look down as little as possible. So sight read the piece again, but this time see if you can keep your eyes on the music for the whole piece. And remember that while you're trying not to look down, you can still use your peripheral vision. So use that to your advantage. You could also sight read again, but trying to read ahead because reading ahead is a skill that you can develop with pieces that are familiar or not familiar. If you're used to reading ahead maybe one beat at a time, try to sight read again but this time see if you can read two beats ahead. Or if you're used to only reading one note ahead, try to read two notes ahead. And lastly, you could try again but with a better fingering because usually when we're sight reading we often get our fingers all tangled up because we're not really seeing what's coming up. And as you know, the best fingering always takes into account what's coming up. So why not try again, but this time see if you can come up with a better fingering. So those were some of the ways you can still benefit from pieces you've sight read in the past. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, then please like it and share it with your fellow musicians. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Happy sight reading!